Welcome back. It's 12-11. More strikes to tell you about from Israel targeting Hezbollah in Lebanon. Smoke could be seen rising earlier today from the southern and eastern parts of Lebanon. The Israeli military warned residents in these areas to evacuate ahead of their widening air campaign against the militant group. The Israeli army is now preparing for a possible ground operation in Lebanon. Nate Foy has more on today's developments. Israel again carried out airstrikes in Lebanon, both north and south of Beirut. For the first time, Hezbollah launched what it claims is a long-range ballistic missile at Tel Aviv, forcing millions of people to seek shelter. There is endless shelling here. This is the only place we have to shield ourselves. The house, it is not the safest. Hezbollah says it targeted Israel's Mossad intelligence agency in response to the assassinations of its top commanders and explosions of their communication devices. Israel's David Sling defense system intercepted the missile. The IDF says it struck a rocket launcher in southern Lebanon, where it believes the strike originated. Israeli military officials say they'll continue attacking Hezbollah until it's safe for Israelis in the north to return home. We aim for the operation to be short as possible. That's why we're attacking with great force. At the same time, we must be prepared for it to take longer with high spirit. Hezbollah is backed by Iran which promised retaliation after Israel assassinated a Hamas leader in Tehran last month. On Wednesday, the country's supreme leader said the recent killings of Hezbollah's commanders will not defeat the terror group. The world has seen, uh, especially over the past few months, that the head of the snake of war and terror lies in Tehran. Lebanon's health ministry says since Monday, more than 560 people have been killed as a result of airstrikes. That figure doesn't differentiate between Hezbollah terrorists and Lebanese civilians. In Tel Aviv, Nate Foy, Fox 32 Chicago.